So, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. I feel like total shit right now, bro. Like, I got a bad headache right here in the eyeball, bro. I took a test, bro, and I contracted the COVID easy, bro. And the thing is, bro, I could get, I could have this from, from so many different things, bro. Aki could have spit in my food, bro. The little youngins I was dapping up in that last video, bro. One of them could have gave it to me, bro. I don't be wearing a mask, bro. I could have got it that way. I can't taste nothing. How am I gonna review and I can't taste, bro? So it's five days later, y'all. And I swear it doesn't make sense. Like, I remember when they say you used to have to quarantine for 14 days. Now you gotta quarantine for five days, bro. And literally now, five days later, bro, you're negative, bro. Like, six days ago was my last video. You feel me? I was with a whole bunch of little youngins. The next day, I was not feeling good, bro. I was down for the count for five days, bro. Test it again. Negative now, bro. It's crazy to me, bro. Like, I don't know if these new variants is different. I don't know if these tests is different, bro. But something is definitely up, bro. Because all of the rules are different now, bro. We've been lied to. All right, y'all. So right now, I'm about to go try what is said to be the most racist place in, in America, bro. Cracker Barrel. I ain't never had it before. I don't know if it's racist or any of that stuff, bro. But I know a lot of people like it. You feel me? I'm going to let y'all know right here, right now, what I'm thinking about it. So I'm literally on Google right now looking at what they got. And look. Like, hold on, y'all. Let's zoom into this. Look how happy he looks, bro. Look at that smile on his face, bro. Like, he's in heaven right now. I mean, you see, bro. This place is packed. Look at, look at her. She's never had food like this in her life before, bro. They're in heaven. They're enjoying the food, bruh. I'ma shoot out there right now. And hopefully, hopefully I'm smiling like these people because they're they're in heaven. They're loving it. So I'm currently headed to the clothing now, y'all. So I can get them threads. You already know I gotta grab me a pair of Wranglers, bro. And whatever else I need, you feel me? So first things first, y'all, we need a pair of these Wranglers. The reason I selected the Wranglers is because I hear they real comfortable jeans. You feel me? I'm about to be Wrangler down. Y'all, you already know we got to grab the Wrangler shirt to go with the Wrangler pants. All right, y'all, so look. I got the threads, you know what I'm saying? I got the shoes, I got the shirt, I got the pants. Straight Wrangler down, you feel me? Walmart action. The reason why we gotta do this because a whole lot of grandpa type of dudes, you know what I'm saying? They go eat there at, um, what's the place called? Um, Cracker Barrel. So I'm gonna go try this on, go to the fitting room. Yeah. You mind if I go try these on? Wait, I, I just need. I wait, can I? I need to try but I gotta look. Wait, no, don't run off. Don't run on me. Wait, Bruh. Oh. I scared her away, bro. All I wanna do is try on this, this outfit. All right, y'all, we here at the Cracker Barrel. Look, you see what I got on. And I got the Wrangler tag still hanging like it's a stock X verification code. You already know I'm really with it. I don't know if this is a gift shop or this is a restaurant, bro. This is like a little boutique. I'm not gonna lie to you. They got a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of knickknacks and a little bit of all of that. So I don't know, y'all, if this is a restaurant or this is a thrift store. Oh, this homeboy from Toy Story 4. Hey, he was on some janky shit. You know, y'all watch out for him. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Look, 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 look. You see everybody in this junk black, bro. So, all of the stuff that y'all was talking about was lies, bro. Letting you know right now, bro. It was all lies. All right, y'all. Y'all see the food right here. Boom. All right, y'all. Look, I got the Cracker Barrel. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Y'all said it was racist, bro. I debunked that. It's not. Everybody that works here are friendly. They're black, and you guys got me wearing this for no reason, bro. You feel me? I wanted to fit in, and now I don't. Now I fit out. So this ain't what I ordered, y'all. I ordered some fried chicken, some mac and cheese, and some green beans. They gave me a loaded sweet baked potato. They gave me some chicken tenders and some corn. More chicken tenders and corn. All right, y'all, so look, finally got what I said I was going to get. So look, 
We got the track. Let me let y'all know what this looking like. Looking at the fried chicken, I'm not going to lie, it looks super duper crispy. You feel me? The mac and cheese super watery and looks disgusting, not going to lie to y'all. And the green beans are unseasoned. Look like they just poured this out of a can, to be honest with you. We're going to start with the chicken. Y'all see how the chicken looking, y'all. It's a real tiny drumstick, but they also got some bigger pieces. We're going to start with this. Ligaments and all of that hanging up out of this junk. Bone marrow, I don't know what it is. But it does not look appealing. What's chicken without a biscuit? Let's see what this biscuit. Y'all, bird, there's a bird's nest up there ruining the review. Man. Look, y'all. We ain't gonna tolerate the birds ruining the review. We're gonna have to step somewhere else. Let's see what this macaroni and cheese do, y'all. The macaroni and cheese is extremely watery, bro. And when I say watery, it does not taste like cheese. It tastes like they ran out of cheese sauce, so they stretched it with water. It's literally terrible, bro. It's horrible. For macaroni and cheese, this, this is going to get like a, a 2 out of 10. It's gross. It's not good, period. Now we're going to jump into the green beans. The green beans, they don't got no type of salt, pepper, nothing on them. They're not seasoned. They look like they're just canned green beans. Yeah, these taste like shit. The chicken's not bad. The sides taste like shit, be honest with you. Yeah, they're horrible. As far as the chicken, like I said, the chicken's not bad. The chicken's pretty good. As far as like the seasoning, I didn't like how them ligaments was hanging up out of that drumstick. There's so many better options for fried chicken. And I would never go to a Cracker Barrel again. I went here because it's for video. You would never catch me here. The food sucks. Keep it 100 with you. It's, it's some ass. I'm actually, right now, getting out my car to throw this shit in the trash. Now that the chicken's in the trash, you see I still got the tags on this. I'm gonna go to Walmart and return this. Cause you won't catch me wearing this. Ever again. So I gotta get the green beans off the bottom of the shoes, y'all. How they look. They still got the tags attached. Gotta bring these motherfuckers back. Like I said, y'all, you'll never see peace in another fit like that again. And that's no cap. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't understand why everybody says that Cracker Barrel is racist, bro. I clearly just proved that it's not racist there, bro. Like, it's just a stereotype, I guess. I mean, they were friendly in there. Like I said, they, they had other people working in there. And the food's not good. You feel me? The food's gross. The chicken's all right. But they're not racist, y'all. Be honest with you.